Hi guys, it is 2am, and I just been editing this amazing video that you're about to watch. Um, I just want to say that I'm so proud of the cast. Like, they, they, they are amazing. We, we went for something super ambitious, super tedious, and, and they pushed through the work, and I'm just so proud of them. Like, imagine waking up to Leo every morning saying, more energy, <laughs> lots of energy, lots of diction, uh, redo it like five billion times. I'm just, I'm so proud of them. And yeah, without further ado, um, this is Blind Date. Uh, make sure you say it till the end because there's going to be some pretty funny bloopers. Enjoy. Ew, that was gross. She walked away through a cheap pack of cigarettes, hard liquor mixed with a bit of intellect. And all the boys, they were saying they were into it. Such a pretty face. Ted. Ted. And you are? Marcia. Hi, it's so wonderful to meet you. Uh, you look very nice, very dapper. Why, thank you. So kind of, so kind of you to notice. So, uh, Carol didn't tell me much about you. Well, except that you were new in town. Why, well, yes, is it that obvious? Well, I couldn't help but notice your accent. Oh, and uh, Carol said you gave up your seat on the bus for her, which isn't a very American thing to do. Yes, she was wheezing, you see. Yeah, asthma, it sucks. So, may I? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 do come in. What? I thought you were well aware. I'm quite embarrassed. Someday, uh. I didn't realize. I mean, you were wearing sunglasses. I just thought how Tom Cruise of you. It's just difficult for me to trust people. Especially men. To be perfectly honest, I was going to cancel on you tonight, but Carol said that I needed to get out more to throw caution to the wind, Marcia. So I said to myself, the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your- I teach little children how to read braille. Aw, that's so kind. I was a child. I was a child when I lost my sight. Oh, that's horrible. How did it happen? I was nine, and I, and I was helping an, an elderly lady cross the street. And then, a black minivan came speeding down the pavement. So I pushed the elderly lady out of the way. Groceries flying everywhere, and then the car hit me. You poor thing. That's dreadful. It's been over a decade now, but it's been ever so painful. It must be. What's so difficult is I will never be able to see an attractive lass like you. You're the most charming man I've ever met. And you are the most lovely woman. Oh, Ted. Oh, Marcia. I've never felt this way before. Nor have I. This is so unlike me, but the way you opened up to me... And you to me. You're the man I've been waiting for. I'll be right back. Slipping in something more comfortable? No, uh, I have to go to the loo. Don't go anywhere. Start walking.
walking this way and you have to pretend you're a person. Yeah. Whoops. I didn't realize. I mean, you yes, were wearing. I'm so I am depressed. <laughs> He's blind. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize you were. <laughs> Rubbish. Yes, I thought you see that. How dreadful. You poor, poor thing. Okay, why do you sound so sarcastic? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so kind. <laughs> I don't have. Ugh, I don't know how to melt. You're the man I've been waiting for. You're the man I've been oh, waiting for. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Whoops, daisies. The man I've been waiting for. Where's the Albier effect? Oh! I thought you meant you'll be right back. so unlike me, but the way you opened me up. Whoa! <laughs> That's not right. That's not the line. Oh, I'm sorry. You opened it up to me. Oh, my God. Just like that. Just like that. Right? Oh, you're just performing a rap to the And you're just performing. Oh my god. And you're just performing a random act of kindness. Helping a defensive woman? Defenseless old woman. Whoops. He said, be flirtatious. How do you flirt? How do you what? You take a moment to like look him up and down and say, I'll be right back. That's awkward. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Redo. Yeah.